Hello and welcome back to the pit. My name is Solon Outlander and... Ready to serve. I apparently have a plan, but in between recording sessions, that plan has a completely eluded me, so yay for that. If memory serves, my plan is to do many things. Ready to serve. Nimue's Gambit. You've received yeah, an unexpected... Actually, go way. there. Or was I waiting specifically... Your wish? Uh, yeah, just right. go there. Screw myself over in some way. You've received an unexpected visitor. An envoy from your nemesis, Nimue. She invites you to negotiate about the possibility of working together. Considering the past, this is a strange proposition. But your allies like the idea of resolving this conflict without battle. And it's their soldiers you lead, so you've little choice. At least this gives you the opportunity to deal with Nimu personally, one way or another. Yeah, this is blatantly going to be a trap. Nimue's envoy is a strange picked shaman whose blind eyes are the colour of milk. He recites the invitation in a monotonous voice like a living puppet. Your meeting point is at the ancient standing stones in the valley tomorrow, and you may both bring no more than four bodyguards along. I let her think that she's in control. For I will willingly spring this trap and turn it about. The envoy falls silent for a while, and you realize he has some invisible connection with Nimue. Moments later, the shaman recites a few formalities, expressing the hope for a successful negotiation. No doubt, words come directly from his master. I have all the doubts in the world that this will actually be successful. As the envoy leaves, you think about what precautions you should take. You could formulate a second plan just in case, or maybe even try to take advantage of the situation and double-cross Nimue. Hmm. Precautions might tip her off. I want the full magic shield protecting me at the meeting place. Let's do that. You make the necessary preparations. You can take further steps if you wish. Instead of mortal warriors, I'll take four giants as bodyguards. You make the necessary preparations. You can take further steps if you wish. And that is all. The next morning, as you head to the meeting place, a thick cloud of mist descends upon the whole area, which you find a curious coincidence. You hope to arrive early, but Nimue is already waiting for you with her small group of bodyguards. So, she did the mist instead of me. That's fair, it stops archers on either end of the equation. It seems she kept to the agreement and only brought four picked warriors, although you sense that their bodies have been imbued with strong magic. She appears calm, and her face betrays no emotion as you approach. Still, you can't shake the feeling that you're walking into a trap. Yep, so let's spring the trap. That's close enough she says, giving a sharp glance at your giants. Her face now seems a little tense, and her posture indicates she's ready to act. It would be foolish to risk confrontation this early, so you decide to grant her request for now. Yeah, for now. So here we are, she begins when you stop walking, acting like your duel never happened. She offers her alliance against the Formorian champions, stating that they are the real threat to both of you. She adds that she's ready to tell you where Merlin is if you accept. Okay, so... Oh, <laughs> except for that one, which is 
rather silly. I'm here because my army is not my army. So naturally, let's go, surrender or die, unseely wretch. No. I'm curious about why she's come to me, so I'll need answers. She lets out an impatient sigh, but decides to talk anyway. She tells you she had been in league with Morgos until recently, but when the Formorian champions began to appear in Britannia, she decided the Witch Queen wasn't worth following anymore. Nimue wants to return to Turnanog, but there are only a few pathways open, and the only one she knows is guarded by a Formorian champion and its nest. You keep looking for signs of deception, but her explanation seems to make sense. You can easily believe that she would betray her master and then leave this world to its fate. You may speak the truth, although most likely it's a half-truth. But you still owe me. Pay your due first. I've always found the concept of justice an amusing, albeit pointless thing, she smiles. But let's say I owe you. What kind of compensation would you demand? That's a big sum of cash. Ooh. She answers with a laugh and shakes her head. <laughs> I'm afraid you can't have that. However, I am prepared to give you 5,000 gold instead. Would you accept that? She asks with a crooked smile. And you know you must either accept or refuse. You certainly won't haggle. Yeah, keep the money. Let's just get on with the negotiation. I have a feeling if I accept it's going to backfire in some way. Monkey's poor. She promises access to her territory, an opportunity to rebuild your army, and even offers to trade magical items. In return, she asks that you forget the past and provide magical assistance against the Formorians later. She would tell you the whereabouts of Merlin as an added bonus. Why would you give up such a secret so easily? Imprisoning Merlin was part of my deal with Morgos. Now that we have parted ways, I have no interest in keeping the wizard locked up. Besides, Dalriata is swarming with worms, so I could not get to him even if I wanted to. This knowledge is simply worthless to me. Logic. I uh... I'll accept her offer. She seems a bit surprised by your response, but then she steps forward. Come then, let us put a seal on our agreement so neither of us can break it without retort, she says, extending her hand towards you with a glowing magical sigil in her palm. Yeah, too obvious. Uh, try to shake her hand. As you grip her hand, she utters a few words in she. It really is a magical pact that binds you in alliance. If either of you turned on the other, it would have serious consequences. Nimue smiles and begins to talk about Merlin while still holding your hand. She tells you how she lured your master into Dalriata and how she managed to imprison him in a secret cave. Then she tells you where exactly he is, and somehow you sense that she's telling the truth. It's probably a side effect of the magical connection. Intriguing. You return to your army with confused feelings. Apparently, you've become allies with the one who kidnapped your master. Everything went much better than you expected, and that's something that makes you worry. But there's nothing to indicate treachery. At least, for now. Yeah, it's going too well. <laughs> what a strange turn of events, my Lord Pendragon. 
I've chased this treacherous Ancelia across Britannia, cornered her here in the north, only to leave our duel without shedding a drop of blood. Nimue has left the service of Queen Morgaus and even revealed the road to Merlin's prison. I must go to the mountain of a mad wizard who is long dead and break through its magical defenses. Then I can release my master from his shackles. I love how she sounds so annoyed by that. Oh, I must go to the mountain of a mad wizard. Ugh, such a bother. Okay, that's... That's a thing. Diplomacy. No, that's morality. I am in an alliance. I can buy trained wargs. Or I can break the oath. Oh. Yeah, don't want to be breaking that oath. Do you still have any movement? Your wish? On my way. Hmm. End turn. Oh god damn it, I forgot about you. No, leave me alone. Huh. Let's go for... Spell power. Nah, mana. I think I'm gonna have to save my points. The lightning bolt would be a nice anti flying creature one. Close. And I think that's it for this turn. I mean, I suppose I could do. I've got the gold. I really, really, really want. I don't know if that goes in specific orders. Yeah, I'll leave that for now. End turn. Hi. Ready to serve? Yes, yes you are. Now, there it is. On my way. On my way. Oh, you're right there. Yes, my liege. Uh, you are an archer centric. Oh, they are heavy infantry. I was looking at them and thinking they have a very light infantry focused army, but then I... Huh. Well, to battle then. Ooh, I do 
do like the Samhain gates. That's kind of cool. Where's the border? There's the border. So you look. No. Oh. Finished deployment. Right. You two. Silver companions. Go there. Actually, you continue going there and go there. Did any of you have arcane fortification? You did. So if you do that, let's try and get to the other side of this river. No, you're not actually. You two can actually go into the trees. Master Seneschals, I need you to try and go for that spell rift. They are really charging with that cavalry. Enemy hero is casting a spell. Your magic shield is under normal what strength. What assholes? Right. Where? Who? What? Why? When? So they... I definitely can't do... Fireball. Nobody has lightning bolt. I might as well try to do that just to lower your shield a little. Your magic shield is fading. Uh, yeah, that's because they've got one of your those. Your spell was absorbed. Oh, I'm being lightning bolted. I'll leave my light cavalry, uh, light cavalry, light infantry alone. Oh, back up slightly. Take on the... Oh, bloody hell. Move! Haste! Uh, okay, back up. Wow, you're really determined to chase down that one cavalry unit. You know, what part of charging do you not seem to grasp? Alright, you're all firing. Good. I am suddenly reminded... Who's being archered? Do it on them. You! Oh, 
Let's see, if I do that. The enemy hero is casting a spell. Oh, God. Your units are in danger. Uh, I actually chose the wrong button. Cavalry, how are you doing? I hope you were smashing their knights. Your units are in danger. Uh, you can actually go join in now. Oh, they're really... Well, ah! A spell was cast. Ouch. I'm about to suffer. A spell has been cast. Lancelot. There's some light warriors there. The enemy has cast a spell. Your unit is going to die. Yeah, I know my unit is going to die. Right, who isn't fighting? Wait, what are you doing all the way back there? I could have sworn I told you to go. Idiots. Imbeciles. Yeah, take them. Make them rue the day they decided to get into a fight with Your me. Your hero is in grave danger. Why is he in grave danger? He can do that. Your spell was absorbed. Oh god, too many. Go away. Your unit is going to die. Oh, Sir Balan is down. That's not good. Quickly do that. In fact, where are you? Knights of the Red Lands, you are swanning around being pillocks. Uh, up oh, there go my deep wood striders. Your soldiers are going to die. Oh my god, Lancelot. Actually start earning me some of these. Oh, come on, their hero's nearly dead. Your soldiers are going to die. Shut up. Oh god, no, no, leave my archers be! How did you get around? Yes. They have far too many archers, it's not even amusing. A spell has been cast. Uh, yeah, I lost a archer unit. I have lost both my uh, light infantry. This is disgraceful behaviour on all fronts. The red knight has been taken. Oh god, even... Go! Back up! Retreat! I am losing men because they suck! They suck at doing their job! Your unit is going to die! Lancelot, you still haven't earned me any essence! Archers, continue withdrawing. Cavalry. You are winning. Probably should have used that on the archers just to mess with them. Right, Lancelot, you can go for the Rust Warriors. 
Your spell was absorbed. Yep, but that is to my advantage, because now I can do this to mess them up. Right, who's... Why did Sir Percival fail to cast a spell? Oh, did they use that ability? Your magic shield is fading. He's about to go down. Your hero is in grave danger. Great. Retreat. Withdraw. You idiot. You imbecile. Okay, archers, uh, cavalry, you are going to really screw them over. Come on. Hurry up. You're nearly dead, so... Once you are done, gone, there's two of you left. Misery, hate, woe, and many other various words. Come on, the Red Knight can die. Where are their archers? Lancelot, where are you? Not who I wanted you to fight, L cavalry. Your units are in danger. Who? What? Oh my god, leave me alone! Your soldiers are going to die. Yes, they are. Could you just get on with it? Your soldiers are going to Shut die. Shut up. For each 50 soldiers killed by Lancelot in melee. <laughs> He doesn't seem to be doing much killing, does he? Charge. Charge. That's full speed. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No. No. <laughs> I am getting really annoyed with this army. Good, you can be at the end. Right, so you're going to be going this way. You two... You two will be the ones to go grab that one thing. You'll be going up there as well, but you're going to be very a bit more specific with your objective. You four are still going to be back here. So. You look at that. And make sure you do it post haste. You shall be beginning straight away to march to that one.
Right, let's do this, boys and girls. We will win this battle. We will do it with a minimal amount of casualties. We will do this smart. So Percival, once you can do that. Your spell was absorbed. I need more absorption. Your spell was absorbed. What I need is... You too. The enemy hero is casting a spell. Your magic shield is under normal strength. Yep. Your magic shield is fading. Not a lot I can do about that. The enemy hero is casting a spell. Your men are going to die. Oh, you ass! You are rending the very fabric of reality. Your spell was absorbed. Yup. I can't... Asshole. Okay, I need One of you should be going for a different one, just to be a little safe. And you are shooting for them, so I am now going to take away your accuracy. Meanwhile, you can start charging them, just... Knights of the Red Land. I see you. And I despise you. Okay, what's going on up here? Oh good, you too. You will keep them busy. The enemy hero is casting a spell. Your spell was absorbed. Oi! Why Your do they get to just are in danger? Your unit is going to die. Which unit? Wow, they died really sodding quick, didn't they? Right, so Cav. Right, who's rending the bloody fabric of reality again? Aha! Uh, oh, just a little bit more. Your men are going to die. Yeah, great, thanks. That update was most appreciated. A spell was cast. I don't care right now.
Okay, back up slightly. Lancelot, yes, get in there. A spell has been cast. Percival, you has better been not be cast. getting into it because you are not my. A spell was cast. That is not your job right now. Your job is to do this. Cav, what are you doing? No, Cav. Wait, why are you still Your there? spell was absorbed. Get out of the fight! Your soldiers are going to die. Oh, you got into the melee. Why are you in the melee? I told you not to be. Iron God, I need you to pull back from them and take them. Your magic shield is fading. Did I actually hit? Or did it interrupt? How are you doing? Go for those ones. You. Good. All of you are doing a bloody good job of killing their cavalry. Lancelot, why have you not got even a single point of bloody essence? Okay, the Red Knight is engaged. You are nearly dead. Who have I lost? I've lost an archer unit. You can back up. Your men are going to die. Shut up. I really, really hate the fact that it keeps warning me about that. It's not like I can do anything about it. Wow, there's only two of you left. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, more rust warriors. No, don't. You... Kill that one guy. He needs to die. I have basically nobody left. Is that Red Knight Neil? Right, you. Yes, fireball them. How's my lances doing? Nearly dead, nearly dead. Yes! Ha 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 ha! You are so far from home. Percival! Yeah, you might want to go into... Do that. Just further the... Uh, Insult to them. I am actually going to win this.
Oh, what, you think you can take me? Oh, where are you? You can join him. Lancelot. Well, first up, run. Your unit is going to die. Which one? They're all suffering. Yes, engage. I've won. Your hero is in grave danger. Oh no, Percival. Uh, why are you... Percival's down! Percival, you fail! Balan, save him! Or save his unit. No! Fools, fools! Victory is near. Retreat, withdraw, whatever you want to word it as. Run like the cravens you need to be in order to survive. <laughs> the lightning strikes from... Oh, I have a single point of essence. What a joy. Ah, oh, that battle was infuriating. So I lost the two light infantry I basically sacrificed because I needed to slow down the cavalry. That's fine, I accept that. Master Bowman, it's irritating, but it happened. Can I? No, I can't go yet. You yes, can't my move. Wish. Your wish. Can you get past Chief Seven Oaks? I need you to get past Chief Seven Oaks. I need you to. I mean, hey, it's a strong army, not a impossible army. That's uh, concerning, if I'm being very honest. All right. End turn. Yep, yeah, bugger off. On my way. Battle You've not chased possible. the treacherous Nimue across Britain. Still go East oh, because East Messiah has that thing. Fair enough. Yes, my lord. Yes, my liege. Come on, Prince William. On my way. The shard of the shattered Holy Grail is capable of closing the gates to the cold emptiness of Samhain. These are wounds in the world that allow the Formorian monsters to enter Britannia. The shard needs a surge of power. This can either be magical energy or the life force of human beings. Alternatively, you can use the shard to under Do I have a medium item? I think I have plenty of medium items. That's rare, 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 rare. Why don't I have any medium items? Legendary. Rare, fabled. just don't have anything that's not rare. Uh, let's
let's go for less spell power. Oh, at least one major. Come yeah, on, do the axe. Woot, I now own... I now own Dumnonia. The heck? Um... I am scared. Right, can I go back to the magic gate? On my Can't way. reach. Then again, I want to get on my there. way. Cannot be occupied. Lancelot. On my way. Now you know the truth, or at least a part of it. Sir Balan told you that you were rescued from the Red Knight's Tower, but you have no idea how you got there from the chamber where the Holy Grail shattered. There is much mystery surrounding the events that brought you here, and the tower might hold some answers, so you need to investigate it. Let's investigate then. Let's play Sherlock Holmes. The tower is red like dried blood, and it resembles a broken tooth, like Balan said. It's in ruins. Fortunately, however, you find a stairwell that seems to be in good shape, so you use it to descend deep underground, and you hope that those vaults are intact. Naturally. Continue. After an eternity of wandering through half-collapsed halls and corridors, you come upon a strange ritual chamber. It has an etched stone altar in the middle and a pool of dark liquid next to it. Torches are burning and arcane energies crackle through the air. Let's look at the altar first. It is in no doubt an ancient pagan altar. Symbols cover the facade and an inscribed stone slab hovers magically above it, radiating very strong magic. I will examine the pool as well. The pool is filled with a dark viscous liquid that resembles blood. You cannot see its source, but you see thin streams trickling into the pool at the base of the altar, seemingly out of nowhere. Ominous. Magnificent sight, isn't it? Says a sudden voice. It comes from within the pool, where you now notice a shape beneath the surface, twisting and morphing constantly, slowly gaining detail as time passes. Its eyes stare at you in amusement, waiting for your next move. I will summon a protection spell immediately. Well met, Sir Lancelot, again, says the creature in its raspy voice. Yes, we've met before, although you certainly can't recognize me now. You knew me as the Red Knight, but fear not, I cannot harm you, at least not until my resurrection is complete. I'm sorry, it's just... <laughs> uh. Right, if what you say is true, I have questions for you. Oh, I'm sure you do. But answers and secrets are never free, are they? So let me make you an offer. Make a pact with me, and I shall answer all your questions honestly, to the best of my knowledge. I am curious, what kind of pact would that be? I'm not going to dismiss that out of hand, but... All I ask from you is to sacrifice a portion of your strength. 
by spilling your blood into the pool. In return, I offer some of my magical essence, and the answers you seek, of course. The nature of the pact would compel me to tell you the truth. Hmm. It's the quick and easy way, or the hard but potentially less costly way. Let's take a look around. You are now in the middle of the ritual chamber, the altar and the pool directly in front of you. There is also a dark archway on your left, and a large mirror covers the wall on the opposite side. What would you like to do next? Let's take a look at the mirror. The mirror shows the reflection of the ritual chamber, but instead of the altar and the pool, you see a chained dragon in the middle, and your own reflection is missing. The whole image is still, and the mirror feels solid to the touch. Intriguing. Let's have a look at something else in the chamber. You are now in the middle of the ritual chamber, the altar and the pool directly in front of you. There is also a dark archway on your left, and a large mirror covers the wall on the opposite side. What would you like to do next? Let's focus on the altar, then I'll go through the archway next. The altar has three large symbols carved into it, depicting a dragon, an odd-looking face, and a serpent. The hovering slab is obviously very important. The ancient writing on it must be the actual pact that allows the Red Knight to resurrect himself. Let's try to read the slab. I want to understand. You try to read the writing, but the symbols seem to change constantly, and you can make neither head nor tail of them. Your shard stirs on your belt, and you feel it would have the power to alter the text, but you cannot change what you don't understand. Intriguing. Right. The altar has three large symbols carved into it, depicting a dragon, an odd... You are now in the middle of the ritual chamber, the altar and the... The archway opens into a dusty study, filled with the remains of crumbling books and ancient-looking pagan artifacts. In a corner, you also see the remains of a huge leather tome on a stand, most of its pages torn out and destroyed. Hmm. Let's read the remaining pages of the tome. What few pages are left in the tome appear to be intact, but completely empty. Their surface looks very clean, though, as if they were made very recently, which is in sharp contrast with the worn look of the other parts of the tome. The archway opens into a dusty study, filled with the... When you search the room, you find a wooden mask and a serpent-shaped shamanic staff. You have a feeling they both played a part in the creation of the Red Knight's resurrection ritual, so you decide to take a closer look at them. I will examine the staff. The staff is exceptionally well-crafted. The serpent shape almost seems alive. You also feel faint magical energies within, which seem to grow stronger when the staff nears magical items. It is no doubt key to the Red Knight's secret. And the mask? Through the mask, the world looks different, like an alternate version of it. You see things you previously didn't, some details go missing, others simply change. You instinctively realize this is a tool for the art of spirit walking, something ancient shamans were adept at. Let's read the book using the mask. The archway opens into a dusty study, filled with the remains of... Cr what few pages are left in the tome appear to be intact, but completely empty. Their surface looks very... When you look at the tome's white pages through the mask, you discover sharp letters on them. It is obviously magical in nature, and it details the final steps of some ancient pagan ritual. You can study them further if you wish, at any time. 
so this would be ritual fawns fading tower Recipes? Uh, no, it wouldn't be under l recipes. It would be nice if it actually specified which Antoine Wall. I mean, I know it's not Antoine Wall. I'll work it out later. The archway opens into a dusty study, filled with... You are now in the middle of the ritual chamber, the altar and the pool directly in front of you. There is also a dark archway on your left, and oh, a look large at the mirror. mirror covers the wall. The mirror now shows the reflection of the ritual chamber as it should, but ripples distort the image occasionally, as if you were looking at the surface of a pond. It is possible this is a magical doorway of some sort. Let's try to go f through. When you touch the surface of the mirror, it draws you in immediately, and you feel you are being teleported through dimensions. A moment later, you step out on the other side, but to your dismay, you are still in the same ritual chamber. Ah. The mirror now shows the reflection of the ritual chamber as it should. Touch the surface with the star. Distort the image occasion. When you touch the surface of the mirror, it draws you in immediately, and you. The mirror now shows Mask the reflection off. of the ritual chamber. The mirror shows the reflection of the ritual chamber. The surface with star. Instead of the altar, and the mirror now shows the reflection of the ritual chamber as it should, with the pool and the altar. But your reflection is still missing. The whole image is still, and the mirror feels solid to the touch. The mirror shows the reflection of the ritual chamber, but instead of the mirror leads to another ritual chamber with a dragon chained in the middle. It is weakened by a deep wound, its blood slowly gathering in channels carved into the floor. It raises its weary head and lets out a mournful roar. But you know there is no need to fear. It is in no shape to fight. Through the mask, you can see a large glowing sigil beneath the creature, and two smaller ones on his body, one above the wound, and another one where its heart must be. As you near the beast, the serpent staff almost becomes alive with magical energy. Well, first I'm going to look at the sigils. Looking closely at the sigils, you realize they actually mean something. The one above the wound reads, Palm. The one on the ground says, Thirst. And the one at the dragon's heart means, Fountain. I'm going to be really annoyed if I select one and it ends up killing the dragon. Above the wound. The serpent eyes glow as the staff touches the lines of the sigil, and you feel the magical energies interact. But you can't tell if you are having any effect. What would you like to do next? Palm. Alright, hold on. Looking closely at the sigils, you realize they actually mean something. The one above the wound reads, Palm. The one on the ground says, Thirst. And the one at the dragon's heart means, Fountain. 
Palm First Fountain. I can't go back to look at the altar yet. I kind of want to do that to uh, see if I the tablets would give me any indication. Palm First Fountain. The fountain firsts... So, uh... Wound Palm. Ground First. Fountain. Heart. The serpent eyes glow as the staff touches the lines of the sigil. Ground. And the serpent eyes glow as the staff touches the lines of the sigil, and you feel Wait. the magic. The serpent eyes glow as the staff touches the lines of the sigil. The last touch results in the sigils flaring up, and there is a sudden discharge of energy, but nothing else happens. Uh, You're obviously uh, looking nice. closely at the sigils. You the serpent eyes glow as the staff touches the line. The serpent eyes glow as the staff touches the After the last touch, the drops of blood begin to float backwards towards the wound, and all the sigils pulsate slowly. You've begun to disrupt the flow of magic. The next moment, you suddenly find yourself back in the original ritual chamber, and you hear the Red Knight talking to you. No doubt he's rather annoyed with me. I underestimated you, Sir Lancelot. You are learning the secret of this place, and although you are still a long way from being able to harm me, you've already succeeded in causing trouble. Thus I have decided to answer your questions, if you promise to leave me be. I don't have any other option. Uh, I'll give you my word. Now tell me what you know about my arrival here. I was given the task of creating a magical doorway deep into the realm of Arthur. I was to expect a knight carrying the Holy Grail and help him go north to the Antonine Wall. To my surprise, a whole group came instead, along with a maelstrom of magical energies. Who gave you this task? I was approached by the envoys of Queen Morgos. She knew all about my pact with the ancient gods, and she made me an offer I could not resist. Unless she is a pawn of someone else, she was the one weaving the plot against Arthur and his knights. And who was this knight you were to expect? I was not given the name. All I was told was to expect a famous knight of King Arthur, one that was turned against his king by witchcraft, to steal the greatest of artifacts. I don't even know if this knight was among those who finally came through. Hmm. It's been a real pleasure. Good night. See you again in a few years. Gurgles the Red Knight as you leave. You make your way back to the surface. You are sure this experience will haunt you. But you banish such thoughts from your mind. You still have unanswered questions. I bring grave tidings, my lord. I was appalled to learn that the fair Guinevere, the Queen of Britannia, is dead. She lies in Kilmarnock, but her soul hasn't found peace. I must travel to that far corner of the land to seek out her restless spirit. Only then can I find some answers, before doubt eats away my soul. Huh. Okay. 
Well, <laughs> what indication was there that Guinevere was dead? 